DMM Impact Blocks, designed in cooperation with Tree Imagineers Limited. With working load limits of 40 kN and 60 kN respectively, the small and large blocks are certainly strong. However, versatility is also an important component of their design. Hot forged aluminum side plates provide textile friendly surfaces. Even when not led exactly fair into the block, the rope still runs smoothly across the rounded profile of the side plates. The easy roll outer profile of the impact blocks along with the threaded anchor pin and low profile anchor knob, help facilitate a smooth return from less than desirable rigging positions. These attributes also minimize the potential for unanticipated opening of the anchor assembly. A hollow load spindle on the large block provides for a versatile rigging platform. Some examples include a floating sheave with two positioning lines and one load line. Here are two independent load lines run through the large block. Each line may be controlled autonomously while still benefiting from the centralized anchor point. In a highline configuration, two positioning lines of appropriate diameter can be run through the hollow spindle. The large block may function as a component of the primary rigging system, while a tag line or control line is run through the hollow spindle. In a speed line configuration, the speed line may be tied directly to the hollow spindle and the control or haulback line is run over the sheave. The speed line may also be run through the hollow spindle and attached to various anchor hardware. Notice the control line runs smoothly over the hot forged side plates. In the following examples, orange is the speed line while blue is the haulback line. Here again we can see the benefits of the block's rounded profile. A hauling loop near the top of the block allows convenient temporary storage on a harness. To have the assembly hauled aloft, pull a bite of climbing line from between the friction hitch and hitch climber pulley and lower it to the ground. The block, anchor sling, and load line can be connected to the bite with the revolver lock safe and hauled to the climber by pulling on the tail of climbing line. If so desired, the climber can place a stopper knot below the hitch climber pulley, thus keeping the weight of the assembly on the climbing line. The block may also be lowered to the ground by using the same method. For more information, please visit treemagineers.com and dmmprofessional.com.